welcome back. Uh, maybe some of you can find this relatable, but my life, my work, my creative interests especially, all sort of come and go in waves, whether I want them to or not. Recently, for example, I've been spending a lot of time working with digital cameras, which is cool, but I realized I hadn't shot a single roll of film since February of this year, which is honestly just pretty sad. So in today's video, my friend Josh came out to visit us again, all the way from back home in Ohio. And I decided at that time, which was in September when this trip took place, uh, that I was only going to shoot with my Mamiya 645 Super for our trip to the Oregon coast. I just wanted to keep it simple, enjoy having the gang back together, and slow down a bit with my approach to photography. You filming all right, Jay? What are you shooting? Portrait 400. Just to start, because that's the only duplicate film I brought, so. After we checked into the Airbnb and got all of our gear ready, we walked out to the Pacific City Beach and started our trek towards Cape Kiwanda, where we hope to shoot a sunset a bit later on. Being on the beach at low tide meant that we were able to poke around these rock formations and see all of the ocean life, like starfish, that were living on them, which was pretty fun. I have never seen uh, this many in one place before. At this point, the light was starting to get really nice, so we headed up the dune and started hunting for interesting compositions. I visited this area so many times in my life that it's becoming a little bit challenging uh, to shoot new perspectives here, but it's a fun challenge for me and I never get tired of it. This landscape really is just so special to me and uh, it always serves as sort of a nice mental reset button when I'm going through a tough season of life or feeling a bit uninspired. I finished my roll of Portrait 400 and then decided that since the sun was going to be setting and we'd be losing light, that I'd load in its more sensitive and more expensive sibling, Portrait 800. I came across this patch of untouched sand with this amazing rippled texture being hit just right with the light that night and I'm pretty happy with how this one came out. Meanwhile, Carl got the zoomies and was tearing up every other inch of sand in the entire zip code. climbing higher and higher up the dunes, finding all kinds of paths and little vantage points to check out, and the sunset colors really started to come alive. We 
We even got to see a group of people paragliding on the far side, which really made for some unique photo opportunities. As the sun got lower and lower, the color continued to sort of change and transform into more of a pink and purple tone, which was absolutely beautiful. When the light show was over, we got to do one of the best things ever, run down the high side of the dune. <laughs> We had an absolutely incredible walk, uh, so peaceful back down the beach that night towards the place we were staying. Blue hour felt like it lasted forever. Uh, but before calling it a night, I set up the tripod and got this shot of a beachfront house with this unique shape and a nice little glow from a tungsten light out the window. This was somewhere around a 20 second exposure. Um, and I'm really happy with how this one came out. The next day we woke up early and set out to find a spot to shoot sunrise. Like not the first one, but the one past those rocks. We can evaluate as we go too. If we get down in the fog and it's awesome, we should hop out for a bit. Yeah. We decided on Cape Mears, which is a very cool history rich area with a lighthouse and tons of interesting rock formations, along with a very special tree called the octopus tree. I finished my roll of Portrait 800 and decided to load up some Cinestill 400D. As we walked through the woods and looked out over the water, we eventually landed ourselves on this little peak that let us look out over the entire fog wall that morning. Just when we thought it was time to head out and try another location, the sun blasted through the foggy forest and made for some of the most exciting conditions I've had in a long time. quickly burned through that roll and loaded up some Kodak Gold 200.
after that absolute madness, we grab some breakfast burritos before heading out on a hike to a unique formation on the coastline that's called God's Thumb. We knew there wouldn't be a great photo opportunity there. The conditions were kind of bad. It was middle of the day, not great light, uh, but it had been on our bucket list for a while. So we figured why not just go anyways, have a little bit of fun and enjoy some scenery. Later that night, back in Pacific City, I loaded a roll of Portra 400 and we went out to wander around the town for a little bit uh, and through the neighborhood that we were staying in, hoping to photograph some of the lesser seen things in the area. That night we wanted to have a bonfire on the beach, so we gathered our things and found a nice little spot to spend the rest of the evening. The next morning we had to clean and pack our things. Sadly, it was time for us to check out and head home. Uh, however, we did go out one more time to the beach and the dunes with the goal of this time making it all the way around to the other side during low tide, which we did, but only with about 10 minutes or so to spare. Uh, as you can see, there was no real sunshine that morning, just a heavy fog or a cloud cover laying over the area. So I'd like to revisit this spot again another time. one frame left on that roll uh, that I didn't want to leave lingering and sitting in the camera. So I jogged over when I saw these two surfers entering the water and snagged a shot that I'm actually quite fond of. Even though this was shot on Portra 400, I actually liked it much better when I converted it to black and white because of the foggy mood of the morning. Uh, so not a bad image to end the trip on. That's all I have for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me for a bit and seeing some of the images I was able to get on this trip. As always, if you have any questions, please drop them in a comment below. Uh, and if you'd like to help support me and the channel, the easiest way you can do that is just by liking this video, subscribing to the channel. Um, it really helps me out. I have more photography and cinematography videos on the way for you guys soon. Oh, and real quick, if you're seeing this within the first, oh geez, uh, week, maybe a week or two of it being live, uh, my Lightroom preset system is on sale for the first time ever for Black Friday. They're currently 20% off. Uh, and the deal runs through December 3rd. So be sure to check those out if you're interested. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one.